So we can see that the height or altitude gives us right angle triangles. Unfortunately, we don't have the base of any one of the right angle triangles. We have 30 for the whole thing. So we should use the variable to give ourselves something to use for the basis of these triangles, because then we can use trig with the opposite and the adjacent. So what can we use for the base of the smaller triangles? Well, given the total is 30, if we said that this base of the triangle on the left is x, then the base of the other triangle would be 30 minus the length x. Now we can use tan because we have the opposite and the adjacent of each one. Call this triangle 1 and triangle 2. For triangle 1, tan of the angle 35 equals the opposite h over the adjacent x. And we could simplify this later. In triangle 2 on the right side, we'll use tan again because we have the opposite and the adjacent. So given the angle tan of 74 degrees equals the opposite h over the adjacent, which is 30 minus x. And we'll keep 30 minus x together using parentheses. Let's get rid of these fractions, make these a little bit nicer. Cross multiply the x out in front. x times tan of 35 equals the height, h. Height is our variable. Don't confuse that with hypotenuse. We just use h for height in this case. That could confuse some people. Now we'll cross multiply 30 minus x out in front. Keep that in parentheses. So 30 minus x times the tan of 74 equals h. Great, now we have two equations and two unknowns. So we can solve the system of equations with substitution. So we'll set them equal. Since the triangle one on the left and triangle two on the right share a side, they share the same height, then we'll set the heights equal. So the height of the triangle one on the left equals the height of triangle two on the right. And our equation one has height solved, x tan 35. And our equation two says the height equals 30 minus x times tan of 74. Therefore, these two expressions are equal. So solving for this, I'll show you guys. You want to distribute the tan 74 into the brackets on both of them. So we have 30 tan 74 minus x tan 74. We can evaluate these tans on the calculator. So tan of 35, 0.7x equals 104.6 minus x times tan of 74, which is 3.5 x. We'll collect like terms with the x's. So we have 4.2x equals 104.6, and therefore x equals 24.9. This question is asking for the height h, so now we can sub x in to solve for h. So we have h equals x times the tan of 35, 24.9 times the tan of 35 equals our height, therefore our height equals 17.4, and don't forget your units, meters.